Welcome to lesson 2, photo book. We are going to need some photos. You may choose to use the photo booth to take some of the photos. We are going to begin now. Okay, first we are going to use uh, Xcode to create a new project. iOS app. We're going to call this L2 photo booth. Make sure you are using storyboard, Swift. We'll save this under video um, and uncheck Git repository. Device, I'm going to use it only for iPhone. And today we are only using a uh, landscape, so I'm going to uncheck portrait. And we are going to start to build our user interface. I'm going to change the landscape to land the, the phone to landscape. Next. In order to uh, display the image, we will need to use the image view. Okay, next, we'll add the H control. Going to change the background of uh, the uh, this phone, uh, this storyboard to black. We change the image view. Okay, this image view background to black, and for the pitch control, I will also change it to black. Okay, so now it looks like this, but in order to look, see a little bit of the picture, we want to make it a bit uh, transparent. So we want to change the alpha value to maybe 0 0.4. Okay, next we're going to add in buttons. Okay, for the text, I'm going to use uh, the symbols, I'm going to use this triangle, these two, okay, just use these two, okay, or you choose the, whether you want to use the uh, others, alligator mouth, okay, so I'm going to use this, and I'm going to change the font size to 50, and I'm going to change the color to white. Done. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and hold option key. One way to duplicate the button is to hold option key. So instead of adding a new button, we just duplicate the button. Hold option and drag out the duplicate. Let go and then you can adjust it. Okay, and I'm going to change this to this triangle. Okay, done. So this is our UI for our photo book. Next, we are going to import the photos. Click on L2 photo book folder. Okay, right click and create a new group. We we'll call these photos. Okay, right click again, right click on photos, show in finder, 
and you see in your project they have created a folder called photos we are going to put in the photos that we have so I'm going to put in uh, some of the photos that I've chosen so I've chosen uh, five photos okay, of some places that I've been I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it inside here okay done rename the photos please rename the photos uh, to something that is easy for you to type maybe you want to number them okay and uh, take note of the extension okay if you if you if you can't see you can actually go to finder you can go to preferences and you can show all file name extensions okay just take note of the um, extensions okay so we are going to continue with uh, importing so right click on the photos and add file to l2 photo book and choose the photos okay and just click add okay so all the photos will be added into the project okay this is the right way to uh, import the uh, photos okay so any resource uh, you want to import you need to do it in this manner next we are going to uh, work on the view controller so we are going to open up our assistant okay here there will be three three headers today there will be variables outlets actions okay so uh, we are going to need to create uh, some variables okay so first one will be var so when you type var it will help you to create so I enter var name value so the name of our variable will be a uh, array so array uh, photo name okay so that's the name of our variable Array, array photo name RPN okay so uh, uh, array is a is a group to contain all the names of the photos so we are we need to create the array so array should be created using the square brackets and we are going to need depending on how many photos you have I have five so I'll need uh, five of these okay then I need to type out the five names of the photo here okay and uh, we will need another variable this will be called array label caption okay again same thing I'm going to copy this go paste here and we will need a uh, Okay, so we will just uh, fill up this portion first. So, okay, so the array photo name, make sure you type accordingly. So blue, for this is blue pawn, H-E-I-C, case sensitive, blue pawn dot H-E-I-C. Golden Gate Bridge dot HEIC. If you don't want to type, you can also go to Finder or you can go to Photos, show in Finder, and you just uh, copy. Okay, you can just copy from this, paste it in. Okay, in the order that you want. 
okay in whatever order you want so I'm gonna just copy and uh, paste it in okay done next is the label caption so uh, this is what you want to display in the label so I'm going to type in the name of the places okay so I'm going to type in Okay, I think I'll shorten it. Okay, done. Then we need another variable. This will be called CUR, stand for current. Okay, current, currently, uh, the starting position of the photo uh, is zero so in programming we count starting from zero so the current um, photo will be starting from zero okay done okay next we are going to um, we are going to link up the outlets we're going to go to main dot storyboard and we are going to up the assistant okay so we will need to first link up the image view okay and then we will link up the oops forgot to add in a label so add in a, this is the label for the caption okay I'm going to center it change it to white going to adjust the size now Okay, so next, okay, and pitch controller. Okay, done. So the three outlets declared. Next, we are going to uh, we are going to start to load the when the view loads. We want to start to load the photos. So in this view did load, we want to do additional setup. We are going to say image image view dot image equal to we are going to get the image from the array photo name so array photo name current okay like this you will call out the current photo name so 
we will be zero you will be calling the first picture okay so that's how you do it uh oops we need to okay let's say we we leave it as this first okay yeah, and uh let's see okay so the error tells us that we need to uh, use a ui image so um we need to i'm just going to delete it okay ui image okay and um put a bracket name so then we call the image by name then we get how we get the name of the photo we need to use get the photo name from the array photo name the current photo okay so like this you will load the image okay you will get the ui image you will call it you will get it by the name which is array photo name which is in this array you call current which is zero so you will get the the first picture and load it as an image next page control we want to we want to set how many uh of these dots there will be these dots symbolize the number of photos so we are going to uh set it in the setup page control dot um number of pages okay equal to array photo name dot count okay so in so these will count the number of uh, items in the array and set it as the number of pages in the page control So it will so you should start to write some uh, documentation. So we should write here set number of pages by in page controller. by counting items in array photo name okay so um, that is okay, what this what does this mean okay next this is to get current photo from photo name from array photo name and set it as image for image view okay so these uh, documentations are important okay please uh, write these um, please write all all the documentations you should also maybe include it in the top okay next so these two are done we will need to set the label so uh, label caption dot text is equal to array label caption current okay done now we're gonna try out oops okay we are using the wrong uh, simulator i'm gonna change it now to iPhone 11 ok 
Okay, so this is wrong. I'm going to just uh, delete. Okay, so uh, if your simulator doesn't rotate, make sure you go device, rotate device automatically or you can manually rotate it using this tool. Okay, so this is how it looks like now and uh, with the label caption, with the caption Shirogane Blue Pond. Okay, five dots. Okay, these five dots works. Okay, so actually the page controller when you tap on these, it actually will cycle through the dots okay and uh the picture is displayed properly okay so this is uh the starting okay next we are going to start to uh connect the actions create the actions okay so we will go back to the storyboard okay and uh, we are going to create the action. So this will be, make sure you change it to action. Okay, and call this scroll photo. Okay. And when we press on these scroll photos, what it does is that the page controller will uh, change and we will get the page controller okay dot current page we will ask it for the current page that is in okay so when you tap on the page control controller it will actually change the current page okay page controller dot current page okay so uh, the the variable cur current will be equal to page controller dot current page so these will change the value of cur so get so get the or we should say change cur to the current page in page controller Okay, so once this is done, uh, we will be able to uh, copy. I'm going to copy this. We are going to take the image and the label caption. We just need to copy these two and we paste it here. Okay, and run it. Okay, so now when we press on the page controller, okay, it will actually change the image. Okay, the page controller actually change this uh, image based on uh, the dots. So when you press the time, what it does is that it will get, get the current page from the page controller and set it as the, set it as the CUR. Okay. Or maybe I should say here get current page from page controller and set as CUR. Okay, so um, that's that's for the page controller. Next, we are going to create action for the buttons. So we are going to declare the buttons. Okay, so this will be called uh, forward. Okay, so just now what we did was uh, we simply uh, copy this image view and label caption from here. 
okay can so uh, we say paste it over here so that is uh, how we how we set the how we change the photos using the page control next we are going to use the the buttons forward okay we are when we press forward what we want to do is uh, we want to um, change the current so we are going to say cur uh, plus equal or cur equal to cur plus one and then we are going to say uh, this time around we are going to say page control dot current page equal to cur and we are going to copy these two again and paste it here okay so we will change uh, the cur and then we will change the page control change the dots uh, these to change the dots okay so i'm going to write here change the dot okay and we will cycle through the image okay you change the image and change the label let's try it okay so when i press this you will actually change the, uh, change the label also change the dot change the picture okay so it works so you cycle to the last one and when i press this again it will actually Actually, it, 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 it has a uh, crash okay so it crashed because uh, um, there is no more uh, images for it to go next so uh, you look at the error it will tell you that index out of range because you have uh, run beyond what it, it want, what uh, the amount of photos we can run so we can click so that if there is still images uh, ahead we actually can cycle but but when we go to the last one and we click again, it will actually crash it because we no longer have enough images to go. So we need to set a limit to uh, how many uh, cycle we can uh, go forward. So we need to actually set a limit. So we are going to cut this first. Okay. And in order to set a limit, we will use the conditions. So if, okay, if statement, if current is smaller than array photo name minus one okay array photo name uh, dot count dot count minus one so when it counts you will count it as a uh, one two three four five five pictures okay five pictures but when we count it it will be zero one two three four so actually uh, for counting okay count uh, count you will be for count you will be zero to to four okay but for uh the photo name okay array photo name what they do is is one to it's one to five the total is uh, five so actually that's that is the reason why we need to minus one okay so if it's uh, smaller than this uh, array photo name dot count uh, minus one then that means that we can there is one picture ahead we can uh, continue so we paste in the code that we have cut just now okay so like this you will be able to cycle through and uh, stop prevent it from uh, crashing okay so um run this so when i press this okay the last photo it, it will not crash okay because uh we limit it we cannot go further than uh, this last uh, dot okay so that is for forward next go to main.storyboard uh, we are going to connect for the last button okay so um, ok 
Okay, so this will be called a uh, backward. Okay, so save this. Okay, so um, next we will copy um, we will copy this. Okay, copy this. Paste it here. Okay, so if uh, we are going backwards, we are checking uh, uh make sure that it doesn't go uh below uh zero. Okay, we don't want it to go uh below zero. The current, the current count uh, the current current shouldn't be uh below zero. So we need to say that uh if current is bigger than uh zero, then current equal to current minus one and uh, like this it will work okay so we are going to try this out now okay so um, we are going to move forward first so I'm going to go all the way to the end next I'm going to go back okay uh, the going back works too uh, and it doesn't crash okay so the button works and uh, the page control also works okay the good thing about page control is that you don't need to set that limit okay but if you use the button you will need to set the limit okay so that is uh, two ways of uh, scrolling through the photo album we are going to add in a third way of um, playing with the photo album so the last way last method will be the gestures okay we are going to use the swipe gestures and uh, we are going to first declare it in the we are going to declare it in the setup so this will be for swipe gestures okay so we are going to create for two gestures so one is to swipe left so this is uh, called swiping left okay swipe left this is swipe left so if swipe left you should go forward and swipe backwards okay swipe right will swipe uh, backwards okay so we are going to declare swipe left and swipe right so we are going to write a let declaration okay let swipe left equal to okay uh, ui swipe gesture recognizer okay and put a bracket choose a target action okay target okay whose target the target is a uh, cell okay itself the view itself so uh, action will be uh, put hash okay and put as selector Okay, hash s and selector object method we will type in uh, forward okay this one okay this is the one this is the forward that we created so we're going to use this okay just select this okay so uh, swipe, swipe gesture recognizer set to swipe left next we will set the direction swipe left dot direction equal to dot left okay so we set direction we created a swipe gesture recognizer next is to uh, apply it into the view so self dot view dot add we're going to add the gesture in now at gesture recognizer so the gesture is swipe left done okay so we create this we set the direction and then after that we add it into the view okay copy this and paste it okay next so this will be called uh, swipe right instead swipe right and instead of forward 
okay uh, we are going to go backward so make sure you delete uh, like this okay open close bracket delete we are going to choose backward okay backward and direction for this uh, swipe right will be dot right and add swipe right to the view done okay so uh let's run this so the swiping okay swiping it works okay so when you swipe it will call this two action you call it forward or call a backward action so when I swipe okay yep it works okay so that's it for um, the photo book thank you